So, today I want to make a cover once with this beautiful piece of sheet metal, that means. There are side upstands with envelopes on them. A very classic upstand on all sides, all four sides. So I will do this with the segment edging machine. At the corners I have this time a special variant that I want to try out. I have never done, that is you are live. Namely, I want to make the corners this time with folds that you no longer have to rivet additionally. So I can well imagine that it looks quite nice. I hope I get that done, and you are live. That is I also show what goes into the pants, if anything goes into the pants, but I think that will be quite good. First I tear everything with 1.5 centimeters. I have left a little bit of preload to the outside so that it doesn't sag on the lid later. So and then we have 5.5 centimeter here because the lid should be only 4 centimeters wide at the side up stands or side bends later. Of course, it is important that all four sides are folded at an angle. So from the cut you have to calculate that of course, the cut is actually my lid dimension, which I would like to have finished plus the upstand or the material how high the cover should be afterwards plus 1.5 in my case as an envelope to the inside. So that there are no sharp edges. Well, so the whole thing looks... And now I just go here, in the first attempt that. I cut out my envelopes times. So as usual and leave times here the corners. I cut here always a little bit diagonally. So that one is afterwards nothing in the way in this. Should actually fit. Well, I take the scissors rather times with me and have me also a squeezing folding pliers. Fetched. I take the crimping pliers with me, because I need them for all the corners. And then we'll go over to the segment edge bench. So now I have to figure out the best way to go about it. As I said, I'm honestly doing it for the first time. So first I have to bend the fold inwards. Now I go times here and bend me the whole thing already a little bit before, I think. That should help. So I'm going to emboss it a little bit, so that it's coming in the same direction. So, we can bend it as an envelope. It should be suitable here, but maybe it's not a bad idea. But it might not be bad if we bend it open right away. Now I'll pull out my segments, then we'll even do it in such a way that I'll put in. What inserts, in the case, that is, of course, that they can leave straight in. I'll show you best that on the other side right away, what I'm thinking of. Now we can take the edge here right away, that looks good. Because now we can take this segment out here, once an envelope on it. Then I'll push it out and put it right back in. Now we can bend this 90 degrees a little bit more. I think that looks really good now. The folds should actually fit. Is so far so good. Now I'll try to get the whole thing down there somehow. We'll have to open one side in any case. I assume that it will be. And then we can now intervene here. Yes, that will work. Okay. So first of all, I have to bend my envelope. It has to be bent in any case. Okay. So now I can bend the whole 90 degrees here and pull my fold slowly. 
So I think that here is also a problem with the envelope. This here. And this here and I think that I need to cut the fold a little bit diagonally like this. So I'll cut off like an inch your times, to zero, good, and then I can always, try to pull it in here so carefully. Okay. Let's do that on both sides. Okay, it looks quite good. So now I hope, of course, that they don't press a kink into it anywhere. That means I have to make sure that I give it a bit of air. Of course, everything has now become a bit stiff due to the folds. Ah, uh, okay, she'll put it down like that, that's fine with me. Okay, I'm so excited to see how it turns out. Once again for the record, I'm now making a half centimeter slanted here and just as here under it again half a centimeter. That means I now have my 45 degree intersection point here again. And then just go over there and pre-stamp the fold a little bit here. You also have to open the envelope here in the corner area. And then you have to bring it forward a bit so that we don't get so much tension on the corner. And then nicely on the line, carefully bend when there is tension. You have to have a little bit of a feel for the whole thing, of course. Just keep pulling the fold and the rest will fall into place. I hope. Okay. I don't want to bend any further now, because I'm already bumping into things here. That is, the rest I will do here manually at the table. It was important to me that there are no kinks here. It looks pretty good so far. So, this has already worked really well, I think. What's still exciting is that we're now looking in here at 45 degrees. Theoretically, you could leave it like that if it doesn't bother you, since you want to put it in. But I was actually thinking that I'm going to flip it so carefully on one side now. So I'm looking here now that the whole thing also lays out nicely here. And then I knock the whole thing times so directly here at the corner. So close the envelope a little bit. You can certainly refine it. Here also in the corner area a little straighten, and then you can close the fold. I have a mini hammer here. What does it have here? I don't know, 200 grams or something? It fits in here nicely. Now I'll straighten it out a bit. Then you can press the envelopes a little bit here. So it's easier when this goes underneath. So, that looks cool already, I think. So, I think it's really cool. Especially when you have a really nice, clean, closed corner. Very cool. So even if you had a rivet here or a welded corner, you can't get it clean, I think, my opinion. If you have a little practice, you do it two or three times, then you can do it very quickly. Very cool. For soundproofing, so that the whole thing doesn't. You can hear that it doesn't clatter like that. I now have another soundproofing tape here. Actually, one strip is enough here, glued in the middle. So you can pull it off here like this, then we just pull it out of there. 
ist einfach doch raus. And then you don't have such a bright sound. Basically, the bright frequencies or the bright high tones are then practically damped a bit. And then you no longer have this extreme rain noise. Now that's just a cover for an elevator shaft though. And if you're interested in where it goes, then we'll go out to the construction site. We are now allowed to install a cover on it. That part, that's supposed to come out somehow. Then we'll see how we do that. We'll probably need it to supply the whole thing somehow via WLAN. All the technology underneath. Exactly. And we want a screen now, that we can cover the whole thing nicely. Then there are such fan lamellas, once around the outside. Inside there is another perforated plate, and then the cover on top. This is now the plan here for this elevator shaft. So, back to our lid again. Dark gray is always difficult, but here it looks good. So I think it's really cool with the folds. It stiffens out tremendously. You don't have any fumbling. The anti-drumming, that also brings something. I think it's a great solution. Can also definitely work for an ATK corner or something. If one covers a balcony cover, then one is determined with the variant. Since one has a clean variant and is also quickly finished, the box itself has become super stable. Lifts everything just a few rivets. So a few is good. I have felt here a whole pack riveted. Since that was already quite tricky. But I think the work was worth it. <laughs> 